cash. Let's look at how we export our Soldo transactions to Xero. Before we start, it's important to know that Soldo sends transactions to Xero in two separate phases. The first is the daily bank feed, and this automatically updates Xero's Soldo bank account with the previous day's statement lines. The second phase involves sending across the metadata for each transaction, things like images of receipts, chart of account code, suppliers, customers, and tracking categories. Since the bank feed side is automatic, we'll focus on the second phase. Let's head to reports, then zero, to see a list of transactions that haven't yet been exported, but are organized by month. Notice that the list and paperclip icons are empty, meaning we have some work to do. Now we can either complete these ourselves or remind the user to update their activity feed either through logging into soldo.com or via the mobile app. We'll make a start with this first line, the transaction for £239. We'll attach an image of the invoice, select the zero chart of account code, the VAT rate and the tracking category. If we had a customer, the next time we invoice that customer from within Xero, we'll be reminded to charge them for this expense. We'll leave that for now though, and we'll also leave the supplier name empty too. Once we're done, we'll select this transaction and click export selected to Xero. After a short while, the bank statement line in Xero for this transaction has a suggested match, which we can quickly reconcile by clicking OK. Before we move on though, let's take a second to look at what Soldo's created for us inside Xero. Soldo's created a spend money bank payment within Xero. It sent the invoice image to be stored natively within Xero and also includes a hot link back to the transaction inside Soldo. Earlier on, we didn't select a supplier, so a supplier name has been set to Soldo by default, but we can quickly update that. So that's great for a single transaction, but how do we do this for groups of transactions? Back in Soldo, our employee has now updated their transactions and we can hit export. If we do that, any transactions that meet the minimum requirement of having at least a chart of accounts code, a VAT rate, and if you've made it compulsory an attachment, will be sent over to zero. Be careful though, as there's no way to undo this. There may be some transactions which we don't want to export to zero, things like soldo transfers or payments for bills which have already been entered into zero. For those cases, we simply click on do not export. Finally, back in zero once again, we can now complete our reconciliation.